Hey everyone, thank you so much for coming to my channel, D vs. Debt, this is D. It's Friday, which means it's time for a freebie Friday, so I'll be giving away a free printable for a savings challenge that I used to sell on Etsy. But to celebrate my anniversary, I'm gonna go ahead and let you all have it for free. I'm also gonna be celebrating my anniversary by putting in a giveaway somewhere in this video, so make sure you pay close attention if you want to enter. I also have a ton of Happy Mail. I have a feeling just with one box, one of the boxes of Happy Mail that this might be the longest video I've ever posted <laughs> because somebody just went bananas sending me all these amazing gifts. So first I'm gonna start with a couple of pieces of Happy Mail that one is on the way and one is a secret one that I can't share yet, but I'm so excited. All right, so first of all, I got a notice from Kim Arnold. She's been keeping me updated. She sent some packages, so they're supposed to be here today, but I ran to the post office and checked and nothing was there. And unfortunately, they closed down during lunch, you know, tiny post office problems. There's one person working and he takes a lunch. During the time when we get a lunch break, so when we try to go get our mail or see, you know, the counter, there's nobody there because he's off having lunch. And poor guy, he's working so hard. So I know it's on its way. So next week I'll be showing you the stuff that she sent and I'm excited. I know it's snacks for my students. So super excited for that. As of right now, the last time I checked, I'm up to 107 students. If all my classes fill, I'll have 120 altogether. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna hit that mark. And depending on what my dean tells me, I might actually go over 120, so we'll see. Oh, I'm so exhausted, y'all. I've been working so hard all week to get ready. And the students start Monday, and I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm panicking, I have so much to do still, and I've been working so hard all week. All right, the next one is a teaser, and I'm so excited. I already opened it, obviously, but I can't share what is in it, but let me tell you, I am fangirling so hard because this is from Budget with Ira, and this is someone I've been watching for a while. In fact, one of my first videos when I started last year, I talked about him as well as Leroy from 40 and Broke as being the unicorns in the budgeting community because they're basically the only male budgeters that I know of. So I love Ira's channel and I was floored that he sent me a secret project that he's been working on so can't wait for a week from today, how it says here, Friday the 26th. Then I'll be able to share with you the contents that's in here. And I just feel so honored and so excited and ah, it's gonna be so hard not to share, but yeah, I already looked. I think it's okay to share this. This cracked me up so much. Do not trust Ira. Do not, get it? Do not trust Ira. This is something funny that he's been running with. Make sure you go check out his channel love his videos, love his products and his Etsy shop, love his personality. So excited to share what he sent. All right, the next set of Happy Mails are for my students. So these are some incredibly yummy snacks. The first one is from a mystery person. So I don't know if they forgot to include their name or if they left it off on purpose. If this is from you and you are comfortable getting a shout out, please let me know so I can announce it next time. So. A couple of Freebie Fridays ago, I had a person that sent a bunch of yummy snacks and there was no receipt like this. So it turns out it was Jocelyn from Cash Me in Paradise. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Jocelyn, for letting me know and for sending those goodies for my students. They're gonna love it. And these goodies, y'all check these out. Oh my gosh. So I have 20 students per class and I have six classes. So this is the perfect size and look at all this yumminess. Oh, so much temptation. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't have any of this. So I'll just be staring and drooling and wishing and drinking my protein shake. Boo. <laughs> but thank you so much, mystery person. This is great. And there's a second mystery person who sent all these Slim Jims. Oh my gosh. So thank you so very much. I had just added these to my Amazon wish list, and that's linked down below because I wanna make sure I include my athletes. I get a lot of student athletes in my class. And so some of the coaches are very, very strict with them and don't let them drink soda, you know, sugary, things like that, and have a high protein intake. 
So I thought this would be great for those students. So thank you, mystery person. If you're comfortable doing so, please let me know who you are so I can give you a shout out. This is so awesome. I was so excited to see the Slim Jims. The next three packages went nuts for nuts. <laughs> so exciting. But apparently the post office decided to sit on every single one because they all showed up busted open. But very excited for this as well because I like having healthier snacks and options for students who can't eat gluten or can't eat sugar or things like that. So these are so awesome. So this one is from Candy Hughes. And so she works at a community college as well. And she had brought up before that they have a foundation, which is so cool. And the staff association donates to the food bank for hungry, for hungry students. I absolutely love that. That's something new that my school just started doing as well. And I snuck in to check out the food pantry. And I think it's just awesome because there's everything, you know, canned food, protein shakes, all kinds of stuff for our students to go pick up food at because I've mentioned before, I teach right on the US-Mexico border. We have a lot of students who qualify for financial aid because it's a high poverty, low income area. We are rural, that's such a hard word to say, rural, <laughs> rural. So <laughs> we're out literally in the middle of nowhere. So it's not like people can pop off campus and then pop right back for the next class you have to drive a ways to get there. And so once you're on campus, you're pretty much stuck. So there's a lot of food insecurity and it's hard to get snacks and it's hard for people to afford food. So I just love that you all are helping my students out and that my school now has a pantry that got started by one of the newer deans at my community college. He's doing such a great job starting new programs and doing things for the students. He is from the community. He attended the college as a student himself, and so he's really doing some wonderful stuff. This next one is another gift from Patty Arnett. So she had already sent some, and she had given me a heads up that there were more snacks coming. So my gosh, Patty, you are so extremely generous. So thank you so very much. And yay, nuts. <laughs> my students who can't have sugary treats are going to be so happy for these. And then the last one is from Lydia. So thank you so very much. I am so relieved that these came in just in time because when I had added them to my Amazon wish list, they were like a month out before they would show up, but they showed up at the perfect time. School starts Monday. So I have a couple of days to get it ready and then start dispensing them to the students. So each box is literally perfect for one class. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Now the next package was a combination of nuts and these delicious fruit gummies. And boy, oh boy, let me apologize ahead of time because I know I'm going to say your name wrong. So this is from Josephine Adutuma. Adutuma. <laughs> I'm so sorry for saying that wrong. So if you want to spell it phonetically, that way I can figure out how to say it. Thank you so much. This is awesome. So 32 packs of the almonds, 40 pouches of the fruit snacks. So this is fantastic. A lot of happy students will get to snack on these. So yay. Thank you for being so generous. You all are amazing. Love that you're thinking of my students and keeping them fed so that they can concentrate in class and do their best work without having to sit there and worry about when they're going to be able to eat how they're gonna be able to eat, all of that stuff. This next package is so awesome. So this is from Nikki at Nixter Budgets. Look at this, oh my gosh, I love this card. And on the back she wrote some really, really sweet things, including the fact that she's praying for my mom. So thank you so very much. She's lost an alarming amount of weight in a very short amount of time since her mastectomy hasn't been feeling good, hasn't been able to keep food down. So those prayers are super, super appreciated. So look at this. I can't wait to set it up in my office because this makes me feel so fancy. So it's a pack of different color markers, different size markers. I've got a big juicy bottle of the whiteboard cleaner. 
and then a nice big eraser so wow <laughs> you hooked me up so thank you so much and in addition to this there were so many sweet goodies so look at this let me get it out of the package she sent me a corgi bracelet because of peaches oh my gosh it's so stinking cute and hold on so this right here says love corgi and then i don't know if this is gonna pick up on it but the little heart says life is short but so are my legs oh my gosh <laughs> it's so perfect so in fact just today she had an appointment with the vet they've been trying to get her blood pressure under control so they've been doing routine blood pressure checks and the tech that checked her today was cracking up because I warned her ahead of time. Peach's little legs are so stumpy, they're so short. She's a really small corgi that the entire blood pressure cuff takes up her whole little leg. So <laughs> that makes taking her blood pressure challenging but adorable at the same time. Look at these narwhal post-it notes. Oh my gosh, the most adorable thing ever. Especially this one, I love anything with glasses. If you saw my picture on Instagram, I posted my teacher profile picture. Yeah, you get to check out my glasses. That's why I'm so obsessed. I've got a bit of a glasses collection. That is so stinking cute. And look at this one. Girls just want to have fun. So it's a keychain. Oh my gosh, so cute. There's this gorgeous budget tracker, laminated, so, so pretty. Love that. And this one is gonna give me a hard time. It says, can you beat the dealer? And no, I can't, cause I'm dumb. I have no talent when it comes to <laughs> card games and all that stuff. So yeah, I definitely need to go over these rules before I start doing it on my channel, on my Savings Challenge Sunday videos. This is exciting, but I'm terrible. I don't even know how to play blackjack. So we'll see how this goes. You guys will probably be cracking up at me trying to figure out card games. Literally, my brain shuts down as soon as I see a deck of cards. So this is gonna be fun. So thank you. Nikki, this was all so incredibly thoughtful and generous and sweet. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I'm covering up her personal note. That way I don't violate her privacy. But on Instagram, she's at Nixter Budgets with a Z. That's also her YouTube channel and her Facebook page. So definitely go check her out. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Nikki. This next happy mail is from Angelia Johnston. And she goes by Angel and she had just said something like a week or two ago and oh my gosh, she already sent me more happy mail. So my gosh, Angel, thank you. Look how cool this is. It's like an old newspaper. And the note inside was so, so, so super sweet. She mentioned my mom, she mentioned peaches and oh my gosh, just thank you so much. And then she sent a stack of d bucks. Oh my goodness. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten D-Bucks. So Angel, thank you so much for your help because remember all these D-Bucks, the ones with the letter D, go towards debt. And I'm getting so close to that goal of $285 so I can throw that all at my debt. Oh my gosh, this is so much money. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so blown away. Everyone's kindness and generosity is just melting my brain. I honestly don't know how to say thank you enough because literally I'm floored by everybody's kindness. This next one is from Chris at Budgeting Just Because. And I'm gonna share part of the card because it's so funny. Can you see that? Where she says, thank you for your soap port. Soap port. <laughs> ah she's so funny she always cracks me up so it's this beautiful shea butter bar oh my goodness so Chris I don't think I've ever mentioned this on my channel but I am obsessed with soap I used to make soap I haven't made soap in years because life has just been too busy and crazy but it got to the point where I had collected so much soap and made so much of it that I told myself I cannot buy soap until I use up what I have I'm literally using 
like all these bars that are so ugly <laughs> from when I was first learning how to make soap, but they're still good. They're just cosmetically challenged. So I miss being able to buy soap. So this is such a treat, especially, you know, the shea butter fancy. And this smells so good. Oh, that smells so great. I'm going to be huffing that bar. Can't wait to take that in the shower. And I'm not trying to make it awkward, but I'll think of you when I use it. <laughs> Even though I'm naked in the shower, yeah, that just got awkward. But thank you so much, Chris. Love, love, love soap. I used to actually have a soap shrine, but I've been using up most of it because again, I told myself I cannot buy any more soap. I have to use what I have. This next one is from Champagne at Champagne's Corner. And so this actually ties into the freebie that I'll be giving away today. I'll do that freebie after her happy mail and then I'll keep going with the next happy mail which is a behemoth box of goodies so this is so sweet she sent me I joked around and told her to send me a postcard from Hawaii because she'd done one of my savings challenges in fact it is this one this is the freebie that I'll be sharing in a link down in my description box that way you can just pop open the link print it and use it as many times as you want she had done this challenge. In fact, you can see it on her channel. She did something really smart. She printed two copies of it, so one to keep track. And then the other one, she cut out all the little honeycombs, folded them up, and then each week on her channel, she would pick a number. She saved up the $1,600 that this adds up to, and then she used that money to go on her trip to Hawaii. So I joked with her, I'm like, you better send me a postcard from Hawaii because my challenge got you there. <laughs> and so she did. This is so sweet. I love that. She also sent a card. So Champagne is one of the kindest people I know. So super sweet and thoughtful all the time. Such a beautiful, kind person. <sighs> she sent a stack of D-Bucks. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 D-Bucks. Oh my gosh, I don't know how long it took her to find all of these and I'm just blown away that she sent like the entire collection of D-Bucks in the world. So thank you, Champagne. You did not have to do that, but I am so appreciative. I think honestly that I, I'm looking forward to Sunday to counting up how much I have because I am so close to being able to make that payment, which is perfect because it'll happen near my YouTube anniversary date. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Champagne. And I hope you all enjoy this freebie. Again, I used to sell it on Etsy, but as part of my anniversary celebration, I'm gonna share it with you so that you all can use it for whatever things you want. Maybe you wanna go to Hawaii. I would love to go to Hawaii someday. I wanna hang out with Jocelyn and catch me in paradise for one, but I've just never been, it'd be so cool. So if you do use my challenge, please let me know how it's going and what you're gonna be using it for. And don't forget, I also have a giveaway coming up as part of my anniversary freebies. Okay, now brace yourself for the world's biggest happy mailbox, jam-packed with a million goodies. So my gosh, when I saw the box in the post office, I was instantly overcome with guilt because look how much she paid just for shipping. Oh my gosh, but in the, oh, and then the stuff inside, oh my gosh so this might take like a whole hour to show you guys what's in here but this is from brenda canchola is that how you say it thank you thank you thank you thank you oh my gosh the stuff you sent was so incredibly thoughtful you included so many of my favorite things that i love and things that i've been wanting to have but just couldn't spring for because i'm trying to be super tight with my budget but y'all brace yourself there's so much stuff and it's all so amazing so first, look at these awesome pens. Oh, they feel so good and <laughs> they're so cute. Another flashy pen with a diamond. Very, very bougie, so fancy. Some llama stickers. Gosh, that's so cute. And then the pop sockets for your phone that says you got this. Love that because that is definitely something I'm constantly telling myself when I'm overwhelmed. She had highlighters, which I love because I use so many highlighters at school. Already started burning through them this week. She sent me this alpaca post-it note holder. That's another thing that I go berserk with at school. 
Love me some post-it notes and love me some llamas. So this is so cute for my classroom. Look at this giant dry erase marker collection, man. I happen to be obsessed with all things leopard print or cheetah print. So look at this. And I love the just keep going message on it because definitely, especially right now, very overwhelmed with so many things that I'm juggling and all these storms that hit me all at once. So this is so perfect. And then there's my little peachy girl. Look how cute, born to be awesome. So this is a notebook and then a little corgi with an ice cream on her head it says, I believe in unicorns. The funny thing about this, again, I took her to the vet today. Anytime I take her to the vet, in order to make it less scary and to give her something to look forward to, I take her through the drive through immediately after that Burger King and I get her a little pup cup of ice cream. She loves it. The employees love it. And so the fact that this one has ice cream right here on her little head is so perfect. <laughs> There's this awesome electric pencil sharpener. Man, this is cool. So that'll definitely be going into my office and being put to good use. So many stickers. Look at this. Oh my gosh, it's going to be a sticker explosion. But again, things that I love. So succulents, all these cute little cartoony things, these magnetic bookmarks that I'm totally obsessed with. So there's some of those in there. <laughs> this is me right now, the little stressed out sticker. So yeah, that'll be going all over my planner. Look at this. So pretty. So my planners are going to look so fancy. Little koala, little bow, another bow, these little angel stickers. Oh my gosh. Live Rich Planner. Ooh, so this is cool. So budgeting related stickers even. My gosh. Hold on to your hats, y'all, because there's so much more. So speaking of budgeting, there's all these cool trackers, like a giant stack of them. I was floored when I was tearing through this. Like, my gosh, look at all these trackers. She hooked me up, not just with a million trackers, but also all these cool labels to put on my cash envelopes. Look at that, the copper metallic foiling. Love. So this is going to be so great. It's going to make it so easy to crank out some cash envelopes when I'm changing categories. Oh my gosh, even for Starbucks, yeah, y'all. <laughs> Definitely need that. Look at this. There's like every category in the land. Oh my gosh. But in addition to that, she also sent cash envelopes themselves. So here's some in the A6 size. So travel, debt, cleaning, food, and then this one is an A7, which is so cute, and it's all blinged out. I do have an A7 as well. And then inside this one, look at this, so pretty. Oh my gosh, this is such a cool placeholder. Don't worry, be happy. Oh, I'm trying my darnest. It's a challenge right now. <laughs> so gorgeous, and then, there's other labels here as well. And the cool thing about it is they're in strips. So I can take them, peel them, and then just slap it on a cash envelope. So it is a sticker. So you just literally peel it apart and then stick it on your envelope. And so there's so many categories here too. Budget, deposit, emergencies, vision. I mean, look at all these. Like every category you could ever think of. Jim, he he he, I should make one of those, but I haven't. So all kinds of cool categories, everything you could ever need. Oh my gosh, and then not just that, she said all these cash envelopes. So these are really cool because they're kind of like peekaboo style. You put your money in here and you can see the corners popping out, but they're also plastic. So that's gonna make them hard to destroy because I'm pretty rough on my stuff. And then they're tabbed. So I am tab challenged, so I love that. This is so awesome. And then these are the kind that fold over. So you put the money in here 
and then you just close it in on itself and look at all these patterns and then you write your category here oh my gosh but wait there's more she sent a ton literal ton of savings challenges and i'm just floored like okay i better hurry up and finish the ones i'm doing now so that i can start in on these <laughs> so this one is a mystery saving scratcher it's so cute i love the little circles so man i'm gonna need help figuring out what shops they come from so i can list them when i start using them in my description box look at this fundopoly oh my gosh and then even the tracker is so cute got the monopoly guy so 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 cute this one cracked me up because it says you know it's a crime scene and it says don't kill the budget <laughs> that is so creative and so clever So there's like the cover to go into your envelope and then here's all these little tombstones and each one has a different dollar amount so funny and then there's your tracker oh my gosh I'm having a cute attack this is so funny there are gasoline savings challenges travel funds clothes birthday funds, Christmas funds, coffee funds, definitely, vacation fund, roll the dice, $10 challenge, which also happens to be its own envelope. So it's A6 size, it can go right into the binder. Wowie zowie, so fancy. Roll the dice with a twist. So this looks like shoots and ladders. I've never played that. So I need, a, that's, that's another thing I need to learn how to play, but look how cute this is. So there is the instructions on the back and it involves rolling the dice. So yeah, that's fun. Excited to do this one. This one, I squealed when I saw it. I used to love Candyland when I was a kid. And so a Candyland scratcher, come on. Whoa, I can't wait to start that. So cute. And then there's other trackers. So you color them in, this one you decide your denomination, this is a $1 challenge, $5 challenge, $10 challenge, and $20 challenge. My gosh, so many challenges. This one was another one that I squealed because this is from Salisa at Beautifully Me and You. I've been wanting one forever, however, I'm terrified because Salisa's numbers are big. I can't afford anything over 20 <laughs> and I've seen people do her scratchers and it's like 50 bucks, 60 bucks. And I'm like, oh no, ma'am, but I'm so excited. Love it. So there's her information right there. Oh my gosh. And then placeholders. So there's a thousand, 500, 100. So those are all like succulent theme. Let me see, let me use this as a backdrop. Maybe you can see them easier that way. This is 1,500, 100 with a floral pattern. This one is kind of like marbly. 1,500, 100, and then a sunflower theme. So 1,500, 100. These are so cool. So they're like on vellum. So they're kind of see-through, but they're laminated. They're bendy, so pretty, my gosh. But wait, there's more. I posted this as a teaser on the thumbnail. It's a monthly budget planner and this is so cool because you can do your monthly budget, your expenses, but the part that had me like, oh wow, this is really cool, has a bunch of weekly trackers. And so every day of the week, you track what you did, uh, what you spent money on. So for example, Monday, I can say Dunkin' Donuts, Walmart, Amazon, you know, so on and so forth. And then I total it up. So this is cool. I hadn't seen anything quite like this. So I'm excited to use this. So weekly, I can track all of my expenses. And I can probably color code it too. So yeah, this has a lot of potential, so exciting. And the last round, holy smokes. 
So first of all, a whole dang sticker book from the Happy Planner. And so these have school related things on there, you know, homework, report cards, assignments. So there's all these cool stickers, over a thousand of them. Oh my gosh, I'm in sticker heaven. Oh my gosh. And then a teacher planner. What? <laughs> this is so perfect. I love the cover that says you can make a difference. But then inside, I love the fact that it's undated. So you can start with whatever month you want. And then you just fill it in, you know, by hand or with stickers. And then it's Monday through Friday, obviously, because, oops, let me move it here so you can see it better. Because it's a teacher planner. So this is school days. And then up here, you put your category. So maybe you have like vocabulary, word of the day, attendance emails, blah, blah, blah. You know, you can come up with all your own categories, which I love because you can be as specific as you want and tailor it to you. So this was so awesome. And then when it got to the end, I was like, yes, checklist, because I use this for recording grades. Literally, I went, oh, this is awesome. And like, oh, but there's only a few pages. And then this was the next thing. I pulled out of the package and I screamed <laughs> because I've been wanting this from Erin Condren, but uh, it's too pricey. I couldn't bring myself to buy it. So this is a whole dang planner of it. So look how thick this is. So all these checklists. So basically I put all my students name, all the assignments, attendance, all that stuff. And then I log it here and then input it into the computer. That way I have a backup in case something catastrophic happens on the computer, which, you know, it usually does. Oh my gosh, I love Erin Condren notebooks because of the hefty foil and the super thick paper because it takes my pens and all my highlighting without bleeding through. I am so excited about this. This is so perfect. Then these are the little bookmarkers that go with it. So literally you pop it in and out of whatever page you want. So there's a little coil basically that snap into place and these are so pretty. And then this dashboard, the same thing, you can pull it out in and out of any page. It snaps in, you can see all those little holes right here. And so you've got all your days of the week, lists of things you need to do before school, after school, and then here you decide your category. So, wow. Brenda, this is so incredibly amazing and I am so blown away. Oh my gosh. I honestly don't know what to say, how to say. I am just stunned at all the amazing goodies that you sent. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I am so overwhelmed by how amazing you all are. So thank you a million times over. Oh gosh, I don't even know what to say. I'm just sitting here sweating because I don't know <laughs> what to say. My poor brain is just shorting out. All right, and finally, it's time for the giveaway. So these are the rules if you want to be entered into the giveaway. You have to make sure you're publicly subscribed to my channel. So if you're not sure how to do that, make sure you go on YouTube, do a search, how to check if I'm publicly subscribed. So that'll help you walk you through the steps. There's a bunch of tutorials on that. The next thing is please make sure you follow me on Instagram. There's my handle, D versus debt, all one word with two little periods in there. So don't forget the periods when you're searching me. And this is so that I can reach out to you if you're the winner. So if you don't have an Instagram account, just open one up for giveaways and things like that. You don't have to have your personal information or anything like that. You can just use it for budgeting stuff. And don't worry, I won't be posting a million things a day. In fact, I use Instagram very little. I'll post a meme here and there. I'm no good at reels. I'm no good at most of Instagram. In fact, I find it pretty overwhelming, but it does make it easy to communicate with people. All right, to enter into the contest, make sure you leave a comment. And in that comment, you have to put this hashtag. So hashtag four, the number four, the creator. Make sure that you are very careful with your spelling because the random comment picker, even if there's one letter wrong, it won't recognize it when it's pulling comments to draw from. So make sure again that you check your spelling, but also remember it's the number four, not the word four. So 
be very, very careful with that. So I'm going to give you a week to enter the giveaway. It'll close next Friday, August 26th, and then I'll be announcing the winner and reaching out to them through Instagram to get their address so that I can send them the prize. So the prize is a $25 gift certificate to the website for the creator. I'm on there. I sell printables on there, but I wanted to give you all a chance to support the other shop owners that are on there, as well as Chris from Budgeting Just Because, because she's the one that created this website. So there's so many awesome ladies in the budgeting community that are part of For the Creator and have printables and resin items and cash envelopes and just all kinds of good stuff. So if you happen to win, then you would have $20 to spend at one of their shops. So good luck to everybody that entered. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you made it all the way to the end, this is again the longest video ever <laughs> because you all are so amazing with all this happy mail. Please go ahead and leave a heart emoji because man, you all just poured the love and I appreciate it so very much and I am so floored and humbled and blown away by it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. A million hearts to you. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate your support. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you Sunday for my savings challenges. Have a great day.